Addressing Climate Change with Local Solutions. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 387. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our August 23rd, 2020 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is addressing climate change with local solutions. Let's talk about that. Addressing climate change with local solutions. There's a lot of global solutions that are being implemented to address climate change, but we think that the most successful strategies will be grassroots strategies, strategies implemented by people because because the strategies create a better way of life for those people because it benefits you individually, because it benefits your family individually. And so one community's model and everything that you see in the background of the video here is all being open source and free share and it all contributes to this. It's creating an environment that is, it gives more than it takes, that addresses climate change by giving more than it takes, by being carbon negative, not just carbon neutral, but carbon negative through composting, through using sustainable building methods, through organic farming, through comprehensive recycling methods that address all aspects of waste and through reducing consumption. In the case of one community, because 30% of one community will be hosting the public to come and visit and experience that, our comprehensive recycling protocols will be taking the waste brought onto the property and recycling that, all of it, and composting everything that we can in such a way that we will be net negative as a living example. And we want to make that self-replicating. Well, how do we make it self-replicating? Well, we do that by demonstrating is it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, the living experience enjoyable enough, and better than the way that people are living right now, enough so that it will spread on its own. So that people are motivated to want to apply this in their own lives. So people are motivated to want to live this way. And so in so doing, we're addressing climate change with local solutions by teaching people how to live comprehensively sustainable and benefit, selfishly benefit from that sufficiently that the idea will spread on its own. So little local solutions, mass produced, hundreds of people, thousands of people, tens of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people, and eventually millions of people living this way and designing it all open source and free shared so that it can be implemented as individual components. So it can be millions of people living this people and hundreds of millions of people implementing small pieces of it. Like the world is already involved for the most, I mean, there's, there's a large involvement in recycling, for instance. You know, and there's a huge movement for organic food, as an example, and people are reducing their use of fossil fuels. So imagine if that same level of participation was happening in highest good approaches to economics, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches, other highest good approaches to food and energy and things like that, and housing, building housing so that the new norm became sustainable housing instead of the way that we're building right now. Well, we think that it through open sourcing and free sharing and giving people a place where they can come and experience that, where they can stay in an earth bag home so that they can stay in a straw bale home or a cob home or an earth block home by providing that and showing them like, hey, this is the experience. Look at how much healthier this environment is, how it feels to stay in a home built from the earth that doesn't have toxins in the carpeting, in the paint, in the in the walls, in the manufacturing of, of the different materials, giving the people that experience and showing them like, hey, this is easy. You can replicate this. And the more we replicate it, the easier it will become. The more people take it and adapt it, modify it, and create other versions of what it is that we're creating, the more options there will be. And so addressing climate change with local solutions can be achieved through a model like this. And we think that that is wonderful, right? Like we can create a model that is selfishly philanthropic, selfishly humanitarian, a model where people are doing good for the earth, doing good for their local communities, 
and but first and foremost, doing better for themselves, alleviating debt, freeing themselves from the grind of traditional living models, eliminating their commute, having recreation and and relaxation activities all within walking distance, all within a community that is safe so people's kids can just go outside and play and you don't have to worry about it, you know? So you're breathing clean air, so you're eating food that you know, you have no question, it has not been sprayed with poison, you know, so that people are living in environments that aren't toxic, so people are living in environments that are emotionally not toxic, that are fulfilling and enriching a culture of personal growth and enrichment. We can create all these things and we are creating all these things. And we see them as the foundation for addressing climate change with local solutions because it creates those environments that are better than the way people are living right now. And those environments specifically address climate change with a multifaceted approach that deals with every aspect of the human experience in a way that is sustainable and for the highest good. And if people don't want a comprehensive approach like that, implement any of the individual components. Everything is designed with this idea in mind. And so any implementation is a step in the right direction. And we think that we're creating something for everybody by doing it this way. This is our idea. So, you know, we've had almost 500 volunteers contribute to this point. We're a non-governmental organization, a non-profit organization, a 100% volunteer organization, including myself. And we're creating this because we want to live this way, because we want to see other people live this way, and because we see a world that works for everybody happening within our lifetime through this model. It is possible, and it's happening right now, and it's designed so that everybody can participate in whatever way works best for them, and we can get there. So this is what one community is up to. This is how we're addressing climate change with local solutions and we're building open source solutions to address it even more. And uh, yeah, that's it. Take a look at our uh, weekly progress update. If you'd like to see what our all volunteer team has accomplished specifically for the last week and for every week for the last seven years and beyond. Uh, and uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on, keep it on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.